Uh, I do research into the uh, brain um, and its role in suicidal behavior. Uh, it may seem counterintuitive at first. Most people think of suicidal behavior as a reaction to things that happen in people's lives. Uh, and there is a role for psychiatric illness uh, in over 90% of suicides. What became evident over a number of years was that we actually were able to identify biological abnormalities in the brain that are associated with illnesses like depression. But then there was a set of biological abnormalities that were associated with the parts of the brain that are involved in regulating mood and decision making. From one perspective, it's called neuroeconomics. Um, how do you decide whether you're going to buy a car or a house or get married to somebody? Um, and then the really important decisions like are you going to live or die when you're feeling very depressed, suicidal, hopeless and see no future? It is the way in which genes and biology and experience add up to affect our decision making patterns in life our ability to deal with emotions and setbacks in life and resilience and all of those sorts of things.